in the last episode. Predicting that Tristana would predict his psychotic anxiety paid off as Yga got the Yordle to burn her flash at level 1, making the bot lane matchup fairly easy for our protagonist as he went in on Nami giving Kaiser the first blood, making a good guy player sacrificing himself feeding another kill to his support. That's when Nocturne made a huge mistake of trying to shut down Kaiser, giving her another kill that unlocked Kaiser's thickest form, thickening the plot for the enemy team overwhelming them that led to their defeat. With Papa recently buying the new Sentinel Pike skin, there are no more skins that Y Guy can spend on due to his limited champion pool. Luckily for the production team, we're eating pizza tonight, thanks to the sponsor of today's episode. Let me tell you about the best looking mobile slash PC game in this realm, in case you haven't heard of them. This episode is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Why guys rushing through every dungeon with his trusty unit Drake of the Lizardman, executing anyone who dare stand in his way with Drake's skill death from above, granting Drake an extra turn after every kill defying the turn based concept eliminating the final boss without a sweat, and with Raid adding a new Shadowkin champion ninja himself, now is the best time to click the link below and start playing Raid, just look at that design though. Having the ability to control both fire and ice is so cool and lit not gonna lie. With Drake's excellent wave clear and ninja's high rating against clan bosses, we might be looking at the perfect raid duo, and with raid's new update on a brand new clan features and new champion fragments that you can collect in the doom tower, you better click the link below or scan the code and start playing raid to get ninja absolutely free, for he's a super limited edition champion that'll only be available until the 15th of October. A huge head start is waiting for you with 200,000 silvers, an XP boost and an energy refill, and also one ancient shard, so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. While also getting this free champion Shonoru who's an excellent unit in the Doom Tower, you'll find all your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only so be quick. Big big thanks to Raid for sponsoring this video. One of the reasons why Papa loves playing Pike is that you either unleash a maximum epic limitless IQ play when everything goes as planned, or look like a total trash cardboard elo player when everything misses. That Caitlyn trap placing though, imagine the faith she has thinking that Papa's hook would hit. Finally both enemy bot laners will not be able to use their flashes in the next 5 minutes, a huge window of opportunity for Y guys jungler to gank right. But when do we ever get what we want in this game, sad face. Why guy trying to hold his ignite for next game and putting too much faith on Caitlyn's early execution as backfired, wasting his ultimate in the process. Good thing his trusty tier 1 red side turret is still proving its worth up to this day. We read an amusing comment last episode on how Papa lands his hooks. First of all, I appreciate you for suspecting Y Guy of cheating after all of the zoning hooks in that episode. About that flick, when using his hook, it's just Y Guy's way of guessing where the enemy would go in the last split second before releasing Q. Landing every skill shot is all about guessing, in my opinion. Sometimes you'll guess right and hit your opponent, and sometimes you'll zone them unconsciously, denying them a free gap closer.
After getting bombarded by ganks in the bot lane, the Lord of Wydra unleashes vengeance to his adversaries by bringing 90% of bot lane to them, ganking his enemies in their respective lanes and jungle as consequence for their foolish deeds. Can't play the game question mark? Cursed Dwarfism? Why guys Phantom would have hit if it weren't for Tristana's minuscule character design? This Graves mid lane hurts though. Papa thought that this guy picking Graves mid was troll, but it appears that why guy is gravely mistaken. Haha <laughs> classic comedy like and subscribe. Waiting for Papazia before using Black Shield I see. Well that didn't quite work for her. Unfortunately Siva didn't learn anything from the previous encounter and is about to experience severe trauma. Why guy showing 404 IQ plays in the early game? They can't spell Shield Yori if you don't use it. It couldn't be just me when I say that Seraphine's death is the most satisfying thing in this game next to a victory screen. How dare these champions disturb the hard-working ants of Summoner's Rift with their ultimates. I'm afraid the Lord of Wydra must punish them by teaching them how to properly zone without disturbing anyone. With the help of his friends, our protagonist didn't die and turns this scenario around by getting a quadra kill without dying with only his Q and ignite up. Did I mention that Y guy's screen didn't turn grey after because he clearly didn't die? <laughs> 